In this video, I'm going to show you how to create create a column chart similar to YouTube Data Studio. With this chart, you can visualize your data for last and day for a specific time as well as the day of week. If I switch to Excel sheet, I also design similar chart for my own data set. Currently, this showing the result for last seven day. Let's say if I type 20, it will show the summary for last 20 days. If I type 50, it will show last 50 days summary. Now how we can develop this chart using Microsoft Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you each and everything. Consider we have this blank data set. The first thing we need to extract the day from the date column. So I will simply write days. Here I will write a simple function text. Open parenthesis. Select the date column, comma. For the format, I will type TDD. Close the bracket, hit enter, and this will extract the days from the date column. First, I will write the days of week here. So I will simply write MON for Monday. I will drag it to the right side and it will auto fill all of the week days. I will center align and middle align. Increase the row width a little bit. The next thing I will simply type 0 colon 00. zero hit enter and this is actually 12 am on the next cell i will write 1 colon 00 and this is 1 am now i don't need to write one by one i just need to select the two cells excel will understand the pattern since there is a one hour difference now if i drag this result to the down it will automatically fill by one hour difference now we will write sum ifs function. Before I write the full sum ifs function, if I just go to time series data set and I will write a simple function here today, minus seven, this will calculate the date before seven days. Now I will delete this formula. I will just go to sheet three. Here I will write equal sum ifs open parenthesis. For the sum range, I will go to time series data move the cursor to the top until the mouse icon is changed to arrow select the full column so this is our sum range hit comma for the criteria range i will select the date column for criteria one i will simply type quotation mark greater than equal to quotation mark again and percent today minus j2 cell so i will simply select the cell in this case i will hit f 40 to log the reference for the criteria range 2, I will select the time column. So in this case, column B, comma. And for the criteria 2, I will write quotation mark greater than or equal to quotation mark again, n percent and select sheet 3 and I will select E5. Mean if the time is greater than or equal to 12 a.m. But this is not enough since all of the time are greater than 12 a.m. So we need to add one more criteria. In this case, I will log the column reference. I will hit F4 key one time, absolute reference. It will log the rows. It will log the columns. I will hit comma and I will go to time series data again. So just click. And now I will select column B again. Hit comma. For the criteria three, I will simply write quotation mark less than quotation mark again. End person go to sheet three. And I will select E6 cell instead of E5. So whenever time is greater than 12 a.m. and less than 1 p.m. So this will calculate the first result for us. Now in this case, I will also hit F4 key. This will fix the row reference and this will fix the column reference. Of course, I will log the reference from the table, but I will show you those tips later. Hit comma. I think it's better to increase the width of formula bar a little bit. Now our next criteria range are the days column. So I will simply go to time series data and I will select the days column. Hit comma and I will again go to sheet 3 and I will select Monday cell. In this case, I will hit F4 key to log the rows. Now I will close the bracket and hit enter. And this will calculate the total view from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Now, if I switch again time series data and if I write, let's say 28 days, hit enter, go to sheet 3. This will calculate last 28 days view. What if I drag this function to the right side? Now, this will not calculate properly. You can see this become days column and this is total view. 
so we need to log the reference of the table as well click and i will edit the formula a little bit more to log the reference of table you simply need to select the column control c type bracket here after the first bracket end type colon control v to paste type another bracket table one so we will do the same step for this data as well so bracket i will copy the data And now if I just enter, it will return the same result. But if I drag this formula to the right side, now the reference is fixed. Now we just need to select all of the cell which has formula and drag it to the downside. Of course, these results are not calculating properly since if I click here, this referencing this cell. And if I click on the last cell, there is no reference. So we need to remove this one reference on the very end formula. So simply remove this condition table one time less than equal to and we will just remove this condition hit enter and now we will drag this result only so this is how we can develop this logic for our calculation now we will do formatting to look our chart similar to the one show here the first thing we need to apply conditional formatting so i will decrease the formula bar width again I will select all of the cell which has our results, conditional formatting, color scale. In this case, I will just select more rules. Instead of two color, I will select three colors. For the lowest value, make sure percentile is select. For the lowest value, we want the light purple. But there is no light purple, for example. So you just need to click and now just go again and more colors and just decrease the darkness of the color hit ok for the next color you just need to select again the purple more color and in this case i will set this icon on the very middle hit ok for the highest value i will select the color present here hit ok and now our chart is almost ready but we need to hide the number so how we can hide the numbers simply select all of the data again Click on number format, custom, simply type three semicolon, remove the journal, three type semicolon and this will hide all the numbers. Hit OK and now our number has been hidden. But of course we want the format similar to this one. So the next thing I will apply the wide thick border. Since my data is already select, I will simply go to borders, line style, I will choose this thick line for the line color. I will select white color. The spin icon is appearing, so you just need to hit escape key and now simply select the border option, select all borders. Now one more edit is also remaining. You can see there is a gap in between as well. So how we can add this gap? So to add the gap, I will simply add column in between this one. So I will just right click insert column. For now, I will just insert all of the column. And later I will format the width of all column at once just to make consistent so simply right click insert now I will select all of the columns so simply select hit control key to select all of the blank column go to format option column width in this case I will type let's say 0 0.6 hit ok and now our chart is looks similar to the one I show you. But one thing you can see, they only show 0, 0, 6, 12, 18. So how we can actually show them? So if I just select this column, right click, click insert button, this will insert a blank column. In this case, I will select from 0 to 5. I will merge them and I will click equal. Select the first cell, hit enter. I will click the merge cell again and I will and I will click top align and that is enough for now. I will just drag these result four time and now you can see 0, 6, 12, 80. So our chart is almost similar to the one I show you. Now you can see they have a little thinner bar. So how we can do that? So I will select all of the rows which has conditional formatting. 
and I will decrease the height of the rows. So I think this is enough. Let's just increase a little bit. So simply select all of the data set, go to format, row height. In this case, let's say I will choose, let's say eight, hit okay. So this is much better. Now, if I just go to view of the grid line, our chart is look similar to the one I show you. The next thing, I will simply select all of this column, go to home tape, font color to be white. Now, how we can convert this chart so that we can freely move this chart from one area to another area. So I will simply select the cells, including some blank cell, which has our chart. Hit control C, go to time series data, right click, paste special. Here is option, link picture. And this will paste our chart with a link picture. Now, if I click here and update the value to seven, our chart is automatically updated. Now we don't want to see this sheet three. So I will simply right click, hide the sheet three. And this is how we can create this amazing chart. I hope you learned something useful. Please hit a like button on the bottom and also subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have time, please share this video as well. Thank you so much.